Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November 15th through the 30th. So, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Libra for November 15th through the 30th? That's too many. That was a big stack. We're not doing that. We'll take those. Happiness. Flowers. Broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So that's good. That's really good. It means the storm is, is past, right? So there is parting ways in either romance or business. You're going to be parting ways from somebody or something. So what do we have for Libra? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles reverse right off the bat. Now that is a need to take action. You must take action in some way. With the Nine of Pentacles reverse, there's uh, insecurities, a need for discipline. Um, you got to take care of yourself in some way. Don't depend. You don't depend on anybody else. You got to depend on yourself. They don't complete you. You complete you. This is about independence. It's about taking care of yourself. Dealing with your own insecurities. It feels like you, somebody, you, ha you haven't been putting in enough effort into yourself. You know? You need to take care. Nobody's going to take care of you. You have to take care of whatever the, that means. Okay? This is no grace. Insecure. A need for discipline. There's a need for discipline here. High Priestess. So, now the High Priestess is, well, this is a healer of some sort, counselor, spiritual advisor, messages, divine connection, your gut, your intuition, receiving messages. Uh, listen to your gut during this time. Um, Observe and reflect. You're gonna need to, you're gonna need time to observe. This, these are both very independent, needing to be independent, needing independence, needing to be alone, needing to observe and reflect on something. Six of Wands. Now this is a victory. It's victory after sorrow. So it's headed towards balance and harmony after a battle, after a fight. Because this comes after some sort of battle or fight or competition or something. So I don't know if there's this is the end of a battle. It's the end of a fight. And it is the most difficult part of the situation. This is victory, being successful. But that Nine of Pentacles reverse is insecure. A need for discipline. A need to go within. A need to observe and reflect. This is a win of some sort. Hmm. Tower. High Priestess next to that tower. Moon, all is not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. Um, that tower is a shocking event. Okay, it's a shock. A faded event. So there's some sort of... Uh, major disruption okay maybe you sensed it was coming um there is a, there is this is like a this is the storm okay but it, it does end okay so you're gonna you experience the storm you experience the shock you go within to you know reflect on this event 
Um, you may be feeling insecure, you may be feeling uneasy, you may be feeling on rock bottom, you know, you may be feeling very uncomfortable with whatever is happening. Um, because you're going to be parting ways. You're going to be parting ways with something. Um, this is a major disruption in your life. It's a profound life change. Um, I don't know. It has to do with your family. It may have to do with who where you live, with your home. Okay. Um, maybe even a family member. That Ten of Cups reverse is, is leaving home. It's children leaving home. It's a dying dream. It's uh, things not turning out the way that you thought. It's not happily ever after. But there is happiness here. So it's interesting. That tower is a faded event. It's a shock. It's a major life change. I don't know if there's an accident or, or what. Something happens by accident. You know, out of, comes out of nowhere. Um, changes your living circumstances. I don't know. That high priestess, that's an inner knowing. This is knowing something is coming, knowing that the storm is coming. So you may be sensing that it's coming. Um, this is realizing your goals. You may be, you may be needing, because this is needing to seriously realize your goals. You may be coming to a point of, I don't know, this is some sort of... Uh, major event that makes you realize your goals or something like that you may be realizing something about your your foundation okay and it may have something to do with your family or your home there could be a change in your home or your foundation um that ten of cups reverse is is a family situation that is it looks like it's evolving some, it looks like there's an evolving family situation here. Children could be moving out, you know. Or somebody could be moving out. Or somebody, it doesn't have to be a child, it could be somebody else. Um... Wow. So, yeah, so this is like somebody is staying put in a dissatisfying situation that isn't happy. There's no happiness. This is not happy. Okay, there's definitely a lack of happiness here, but there's happiness to be had. But you have to realize something. This is about realizing something about a false sense of security that somebody's been holding on to her past relationship they need to let it crumble. It's crumbling or they need to allow it to crumble. You know, listen to your gut. This is a false sense of security. There's a relationship here that is not stable. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's not meant to be whatever. And I feel like somebody's been, it's like they're waiting for somebody to come back. Uh, this is very dissatisfying. Um, it's like, a, unfortunately, with a nine of cups reverse, it's like a wish not being granted. You may have been wishing for you know, somebody to come back, but they're not coming back. Um, Eight of Cups reversed. Now that's staying put as well, pretending to be happy. So if you are in a relationship right now, or you're in a family situation, or you're, this could even be job related because of the romance or business, somebody is in a situation where they are staying put, but they are definitely not happy. They are definitely not happy there. And, um, and I think it's really caused a lot of uh oh what's the word for it i feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening as well i think that you're you're getting a lot of messages from the divine you know it's like they're poking you they're telling you to do something about it and you're not doing anything about it it's like you're just staying put there whether you, whether you, this person is already gone whether you're already gone whatever it's that it's that illusion, you know, fantasy with the moon card. That is illusion and fantasy. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here as well. So I feel like we have some hidden forces that are driving somebody in a new direction. Okay, because this is going in a new direction. This is victory and success. So that we do have somebody here that is... Um, now, this could be somebody coming to the rescue as well. Um, nine of cups reverse this is some sort of 
dissatisfaction, not getting what you want. This isn't what you wanted, you know, wish not being granted. Um, thinking about leaving. Some of you have been thinking about leaving for some time, but um, may have buried your feelings because this is like the moon does bury feelings. It buries things below the surface. Somebody's been burying their feelings. Um, but that six of wands is a card of victory, right? It is a card of victory, making progress. It's a yes, it's a win, some sort of public recognition as well. Um, are being urged, somebody is being urged to, you know, go down that path. It's very fearful, though. I do see some fear here. Um, there's there's lack of spiritual growth. There's lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth. This is avoiding, avoiding uh, moving on. Somebody needs to move on from a situation that isn't, that is very dissatisfying. Um, so I feel like the next two weeks you're going to be experiencing some sort of major disruption. I don't know if it's in your home life or whatever that make, get, makes you, re or at work or whatever it is. Like, I don't know if it's at school, it could be school, work, whatever, that makes you reflect. It makes you reflect on, you know, whether you want to leave, whether you want to stay, you know, it makes you reflect on your self, your self-worth as well, because this is lack of self-worth, lack of self-value. So I feel like you're going to be reflecting on that. Uh, there's definitely an unclear path ahead because of because of this moon card. Well, it's not as it seems. There's some sort of something that is hidden. There's secrets here. Something is hidden, and it's and I feel like uh, judgment. It's going to be revealed. This is the reveal. Okay, that is that is. Uh, Forgiveness, acceptance, release, absolution, the end of things. Something is coming to an end. There's a judgment that is going to be made. This is karma as well. Um, this is a final decision. It's the end of the trial. The decision is being made. Um, fear is just an illusion. So there's some sort of fear that is in the way. This is an epiphany. It's a wake-up call. So I feel like there's some sort of wake-up call, getting some sort of wake-up call. Hmm. All is not as it seems. It feels like there is somebody that is coming in that uh, somebody is coming back or something like that. It's coming back or whatever that means. Or they're thinking about coming back or they're thinking about leaving. It could go either way. A lot of unhappiness here. But happiness is coming because that and this is about happiness. I think that you're following your gut is going to be really, really big this week. And you're really going to be, re or these two weeks, you're going to be reflecting on something. You're really going to be thinking about how things are going down, this major disruption in your life. This is a shock. You never saw it coming. You never thought this would happen, whatever it is. You're definitely going to need time to think about it, whatever it is. It ha you know, maybe this. You know, I don't know if it has to do with a reconciliation or giving somebody another chance. The Ten of Cups reverses relationship problems. So we do have somebody that is in some sort of false sense of security, a false foundation, having relationship problems and, you know, keeping it to themselves, staying put. I feel like this per whoever this person is, is going to uh, step up to the plate in some way. They're going to step up to the plate and they're going to make a decision. They're going to make a final decision of whatever that final decision is. And it may be to end things because judgment is about ending things. This is truth being revealed, being held accountable. This is a forgiveness. This is a spiritual awakening. This one is too. So we have a renewal. 
of some sort. This is a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a, a life-changing decision, okay? Um, you may not be happy with it because this is, you, you know, you may not be happy with the decision. <laughs> that moon card. That moon is like all is not as it seems. There's hidden forces here that, I mean, judgment is a card of, you know, forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. So it's like you got to forgive. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, we have Scorpio over here. Um, Pisces, Taurus. Um... Let me get another card here. That moon, that moon is, is really calling my name. It's all is not as it seems. Like be, be, beware because some, something is about to be revealed that shakes up your foundation. That's what it is. Something is about to be revealed that shakes up your, your security. It does. It, it shakes up your security. It may not make you feel secure. You might make you feel insecure, you know? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, very capable, very down to earth, very, uh, we have a hard worker here. Um, yeah, we have a contract. We have the separation of a contract, relationship problems. So we do have a separation here. We absolutely do. Somebody's been thinking about leaving a false foundation, a false sense of security, a false contract. Maybe they're thinking about coming back, you know, or going back to somebody that they left. I do feel like there's a chance for a reunion or a chance for a reconciliation here. And, you know, it may really, um, I don't know, this is a reunion. It's a resolution of some sort. This is a separation of a contract, a false contract. Um, there's disharmony. So there's going to be a detachment, okay? Somebody is detaching from somebody that they are not aligned with. There could even be a fight. There could be a conflict or something. Um, the Six of Wands is somebody that is done fighting. They're ready. They're ready for to relax. You know, they're ready to relax. They're ready to just. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to compete anymore. They're done with it. So it's like they're headed towards something secure. You know, they've been dissatisfied. Things are about to get better. By the way. I do. I think there's a bond that is about to deepen between two people, which is interesting. Anyhow, I feel like there is... Um, now, this is the phoenix rising from the ashes. So this is rising again. So something is going to be rising again. Something that has been below the surface. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio over here, Gemini... Um, but anyway, I do feel as though we have somebody here that is very valuable, okay? Um, very solid, very stable, very secure, very hardworking, motherly, down to earth. Um, has a lot to offer. I feel like I feel like this person is about to uh, maybe be asked for forgiveness, you know, because this is like forgiveness. But is the end? It is the maybe asking for forgiveness. Um, this is absolution. Somebody, this is some sort of, somebody's been keeping a secret about their feelings. Which is interesting. Choices. You're going to have, there's a choice here. Somebody's going to have to make a choice. Absolutely. Somebody's going to have to make a choice. Choice between two. Whether they want to stay or whether they want to leave, whether they want to come back, whether they, Whatever. I think it's going to be chaotic. I think that you're going to be feeling uneasy. 
there's and, and there could be a player here. We may have somebody here that, you know, has played some games in the past. They may have gotten themselves involved with a false sense of security, a false contract, you know, a false relationship. And now they, they want to come back. So I do think this is going to be uh, two weeks. And I don't know how this resonates with you, but I feel like there's a separation between uh, partners. Okay, there's definitely a separation between partners and and. Um, this is like a shocking development, put it that way. Um, I think that somebody has been missing something. They've been, they've been playing games. Somebody's been playing games and they've been missing, you know, missing the boat, missing the opportunities. Opportunities were passing them by and it's like they've been, now they, now they see something like that. This is, we have an individual over here that is very stable, very solid, has a lot to offer, that is very valuable. And this is a wake up call. This is an epiphany. So somebody may be seeing somebody's value. So, yeah. So, Libra. I feel it. And but this person, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, this person has money. You know, that is, that's that's money. That's abundance. So we have somebody here that is very abundant. That uh, I don't know. That judgment is an ending of some sort. It's a release of fear. So this is because it is. This is fear, and this is a release. This is holding on, holding on to stability, holding on to security. Somebody is holding on. They're holding on to money. swords fed up exhausted tired need to take a break somebody needs to relax they need to take a break slow down somebody needs to slow down and relax don't overdo it and somebody has been overdoing it they have they have so i feel like i mean i feel like there's going to be That tower is an event. It's a faded event. It's a profound life change in your family, home, work environment. There's going to be some sort of separation that brings chaos and may, you know, need some, may need, somebody may need to, they may be thinking about leaving or whatever and they need to leave, you know, but they don't have the willpower. They don't have the strength. They don't have the discipline to do so. Um, and it may have something to do with coming back, whatever. You fix it up. It's either leaving or coming back. Um, one more card for Libra. There's a lot of confusion with that moon card. That's confusion. So all is definitely not as it seems. There's unseen problems ahead. reverse somebody could definitely be coming back you know if somebody has broken up they may be coming back there could I don't know if there's some sort of resolution some sort of uh, reconciliation or something this is also moving on letting bygones be bygones 
It's time to focus on the future, accepting, accepting something, accepting that something is over. Anyhow, I feel like these next two weeks, the last two weeks of November, uh, you are going to be parting ways with somebody, okay? Whether it's a, a romance or business, okay? Somebody could be going back to somebody. And I know, I'm sorry, I mean, I don't know if that's the case or something. That, I mean, that's what just came out of my mouth. Oh, you know, um, the most difficult part of the situation is over, so... Um, it is all about happiness. In the end, you will be happy. But this does include letting go. So I think you're going to be letting go of something. And I think that you've been resisting letting go. Whatever is whatever this rude awakening is, because this is definitely an awakening. Okay, this is a rude awakening, awakening, awakening. Some sort of awakening is going on. You're going to be seeing things absolutely clearly. Okay, you're going to be getting messages. You're going to be seeing, seeing a situation clearly about a partnership that isn't uh, it isn't compatible. Okay, it's not compatible. So whatever the case is, um, but this is letting see the four of pentacles reverse. It's letting go, letting go of something you've been holding on to. So yeah, you're going to be letting go of something, or they're going to be letting go of you, one or the other. Um, you're going to need to adapt with the Two of Pentacles. You're going to need to be flexible. Um, good luck. <laughs> 